Welcome back everyone. So today I'll be doing some ambient lighting enhancements. So basically um, I've got a kit from Ambient Mods, which is a UK based company. They do kits for Audis, BMWs and obviously the Mercedes. Um, basically what the kits are, are sort of silicon based inserts that slide in front of the, the lights. Um, obviously in the door cards and around the centre console. And they're designed to sort of capture the light and which obviously enhances it a little bit more. And especially on the door cards it gives it like a modern sort of uh, a line as well um which which looks quite nice um obviously with the kit it's really simple you don't need any specialist tools apart from a pair of scissors um because it, it literally just slots into place um the only thing you might need is maybe sort of baby wipe or sort of interior spray or something like that just to sort of moisten the uh, the silicon just so it slides into place um i'm just going to use my normal sort of uh auto finesse interior cleaner that i normally use um but we'll see how we get on we might not might not even need it i say the kit um retails for 30 pound in the uk and obviously got postage and packaging but so it's, it's a really cheap uh really cheap kit to buy um and we'll see how we get on and see what the uh, finished results are so in the mercedes kit um you get two different uh shapes of uh, silicon you've got this one which i'll just show you there it's like a l shaped um, where you've got this lower part is slightly longer than the top these are for the uh, the door cards and then you've got this one which is sort of like a horseshoe shaped let's try I'll wobble it about all over the place um horseshoe shaped and that one is for the the center console and like we say the only other thing you need is um is a pair of scissors to cut it okay so with the doors um what i found is for inserting it I'm just going to rub just a small amount just to get it onto the lever bit as well just a small amount of deta interior detailer um, just to give the uh, silicon something just to slide on so with the silicon bit itself um, I found that the, the longer part uh, goes towards the the door card itself and the, the, the smaller part on here is, is to the front so all you need to do is it slides up just behind the um just put that up a second slides in just behind where the ambient lights go and it is just a case of slotting it in place what I would suggest is um, working out how long you need it first. See, I've kept it in, a, in the roll because I'm going to put it into place, make sure it's all flat, and then cut it to length because what you don't want to do is cut it too short or too long with because of its stretching. So, once that's in place right. then I'm gonna mark just gonna use my finger mark where it needs cutting and then go again uh, this way when you put it in, um, it's the set. It's you know you've pushed it flat so that it was the right length. Because like I say, what you don't want to do is cut it um, and then realise that it's because it was stretched or it was bumped, uh, bubbled up, so it ends up being the wrong length. Um, then it's just a case of just pushing it in again.
So that last then just do want to just do want to tuck up in there. Um, obviously with my car I have got aftermarket ambient lighting. Um, so the fitment of the the actual light parts themselves, uh, especially like the silver trim where the light bar is, is going to be slightly different on the cars which have it with the OEM. Um, however, um, even with the the aftermarket um, ambient lighting, I mean that fits that fits perfectly. Um, that's in there nicely, no issues at all. Um, unlock the car again. There we go. So. As you can see, it sits up there nicely. Um, and from the side, you can't really see it at the moment, um, but from the side, just underneath, you get a nice, nice line. Um, obviously, that's that's the door. Um, I'll do the, the center console, and then later on, um, when it gets dark, um, I'll do a little walk around. What I will do, it is for now. I will do the uh, passenger side at the front with uh, with the inserts, and I'll leave the driver's side uh, standard or without them, uh, so you can see the the difference. Um, so we just crack on with the uh, the centre console now. So with the uh, centre console, it's much the same as the the door cards, uh, but obviously this time you're using the the uh, horseshoe shaped or the U shaped uh, silicon. Um, again, what I'm going to do is just just put in some interior cleaner just into the into the gap there. Um, just to moisten up the the area. Um, obviously, I'll try and show you this as best I can without my my big old knobbly knees getting in the way. Um, but again, much the same as before. Um, but with this one. This just slots, just pushes in. I might start, start at the top, um, just because it's easier. But, see that just pushes in, level. With that, you can have it slightly proud of the of the plastic if you wanted to. Um, but again, it's really simple. It's just a case of pushing this into place, making sure it's all pushed in. Now, when you're When you're happy that's all where you want it to be. Obviously this bit's slightly sticking out so it might be slightly different but then it's just a case of cutting it And then just starting again. Oh God, let's try.
feels slightly short there, so what I will do is I'll just pull that forward there, and then what I can do is just hide the bit at the top. We'll just start from this end now. And there you go. Again. And the lights come on. I um, can't really see in the daytime. Uh, but that is holding on to the light a bit more. So what I will do is obviously a little bit later when it's dark. I will um, I'll take obviously take some more videos. Uh, so I can show you the difference. Um, but like I say it's really simple. Uh, it's just a case of just cut into length of a pair of scissors and then pushing into place um, I mean that looks really neat that looks sort of OEM that looks a lot better like I say obviously in the night, night time it'll be uh, a lot darker because I can't really see my lights in, in the daytime but um, we'll give it a go a bit later right everyone um, now it's got a bit dark we'll share how we get on so this is the, the driver's door so this one doesn't have the um, ambient mods uh, add-on um, as you can see look with the light here it's all these like I say these are aftermarket um, ambient lights but you see how the lights not it sort of just filters down on there um, and if you go across if you look at the driver's door although it's all lit up you see you've got that really nice solid sort of line now um, underneath the door um, as opposed to just sort of the light just filtering out underneath there um obviously with the center console this is this is what the center console looks like um without the uh add-on and i'll uh, i'll just quickly pop around and i'll show you what the the side with the add-on looks like so here it is with the with the add-on um this here all around here it is a lot brighter and it's got a really nice crisp sort of line to it now as opposed to the other side and like I say with the door you get a nice solid light nice solid line crisp line across there and it looks a lot better uh, than it did standard um, so like I say with the kit it's really cheap it's like £30, £35 postage as well um, it really does enhance the uh, the lights of the car. Something so simple uh, and so easy to install, it, it really does uh, make a difference. And I'm I'm really quite impressed by the product itself. Um, obviously, if this video has helped, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a lot of other videos coming up on the uh, Mercedes uh, smart car, uh, as well as a couple of other of my friend's cars i've got a couple of bmws and that coming up as well um obviously i'll put a link uh to the the product on their ebay page uh, and their website um in in the description um but obviously like i say please like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe and um i'll see you soon thanks for watching